So in this video, I'll be explaining in details how to take down or report a fraudulent website or a scam website. Welcome to SC Cyber Savior, where we teach online safety, digital safety, and also expose the latest scams and tricks used by scammers all around the world. So I know most times it's quite common for you to see fraudulent websites on the internet or even scam websites. Some websites are also phishing websites that try to steal your identity. So most times we see these websites, but we don't know what to do. We see these websites trying to impersonate our websites, our brand, or another brand, but we don't know what to do. We don't know how to take these websites down. But I'm going to show you what to do in this video. There are three ways in which you could report a malicious or a scam website. But the first two which I'm going to mention are the regular ones you will see on different YouTube videos or on different articles online. But the last one is the most effective way of reporting a malicious website. So without further ado, let me dive straight into how to report a malicious website. So before I mention the first two methods, let me just put this out there. Some people don't use Google as a platform, so it means they don't use Google Chrome as a browser, they prefer using browsers that could, should I say, maintain their privacy. For example, DocGo or Tor browser. In that case, these first two methods might not go well with them because they might not like the idea. Why the last one is the one most people would resonate with. But let me just go ahead and tell you the first two methods. You could use them if you are someone that does not mind using Google as a service. The first method is to report to Google. And how do you do this? You go to savebrowsing.google.com. When you go there, you go to the end of the page and then you will see report a phishing website or report a scam website. So you click on report a phishing website. Phishing websites are websites that could be trying to grab some of your sensitive details. For example, if you see a website requesting for your passwords in plain text, Google will go through it. And then if it is a malicious website or if they see that whatever you submitted is true, they would actually take the website down or they wouldn't recommend the website on Google at all. The second one requires you using a Google Chrome extension and the name of that extension is Suspicious Site Reporter. So once you go to Google, you type Suspicious Site Reporter and then you click on it, it will take you directly to the Chrome extension. So you can click Add to Chrome. So it will check for a while, then Add extension. So it will download the extension and you can sync and turn on sync if you want to. So once that is complete, you would see the extension at the top right corner of your screen. Okay, let me zoom this a bit so that we'll see it clearly. So you have to go to the website you want to report. Make sure you're on the website you want to report. And at the top right corner of your screen, you click on that extension sign. Then you click on suspicious site reporter. Then you can see it automatically captures the URL, the IP address of that website, and it's you can select if you want it to capture screenshots or the DOM content, meaning the HTML of the website or the details about the website. Then you can click on send reports once you are done. It sends this report to Google itself. Okay. Without wasting more time, let's move into the third one, which is the major way to report a malicious website. The third way and the most effective way to report a website is to report them to the web hosting provider or the platform. And how can you do this? First of all, you copy the link of the website you want to report and then go to whois.domaintools.com. Then once you paste the link of that particular website in that place and search, you will see some information about the web hosting company and the details about the website, when it was created, the owner or the admin of that particular website, and then you will see what they call a registrar. The registrar is the hosting provider, so you will see an email there to report in cases of abuse or in cases of misappropriation of the website. So what you should do is get the email and then send them an email listing the reasons why you want the website taken down or the reason you are reporting that particular website. And you can also go ahead to provide relevant screenshots when you are sending the email. This helps them or this makes it more valid when reporting such websites. So these are the ways you could report a website. Now listen, to make this more effective, you could report the website in numbers. And how do you do this? If you are very sure that the website is malicious, you can send the link to your friends and tell them to report it. Show them how to report this particular website. And by the time people report this website in mass, once the hosting provider receives this report, they will take it as urgent and they will look into it immediately. And if they see your reports as valid, they will take down this particular website. 
So this is the best way to fast track your process of taking down a malicious website or reporting a malicious website. So that is all I have to share with you in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and watch this video which you can see on your screen. I will see you in the next video. Remember to stay safe.